And this week we're talking about fertility. Uh, we've had the Gascoigne family in. They're behind Fertility Health, so they've created these two amazing products, Vitamins and Vitawomens, which are designed to help. If you're having a baby, they're there to make sure that you have your best possible chance. Uh, but Caroline Cranshaw, she is based in St. Helier's in Auckland. She's the author of the Amazon bestseller, The Smoking Cure, How to Quit Smoking Without Feeling Like Shite. Uh, but she doesn't just know about smoking. She knows about all kinds of things, including fertility. Caroline, good morning. Good morning. Hey, now you actually, you've helped me. Uh, you helped me get over my potato addiction. It's <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. And you helped our producer, Louie, because she wasn't sleeping. And she is, like, you've cured her. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. So now you have to cure fertility, fertility. for you our entire to audience. Cure the Go. nation. No it's easy. Is. <laughs> yeah. So it's an interesting one, though, isn't it? Because our, our state of mind is, it, it affects how, if or when we get pregnant. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you know when your your subconscious controls all your involuntary bodily functions, and so it controls your fertility, controls your digestion. And we spend most of our lives trying not to get pregnant. <laughs> and so when then it's time to get pregnant, we can have blocks around it. And you think about all the women in your life may say, pregnancy was horrible, you know, I spent the whole time vomiting, childbirth was incredibly traumatic. And, you know, children renew your life, your body, your sex life. And that all goes into our subconscious and creates programs. And so then we grow up and we want to get pregnant and it's like our conscious mind wants to, but our subconscious mind can have a complete different program and be blocking that. So, so our whole yeah. life we're, we're trying not to get pregnant and then wow. all of a sudden we, we, ch- we flip that around and expect our body to respond. Yeah, because how often do you hear people say, we were trying, 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 trying and it was really, really stressful and then we thought stuff up, we're just going to give up and that is when they get pregnant because they're almost not trying anymore and they relax. Yeah. Do you hear that quite a bit? All the time. And I think also secondary infertility is really interesting as well because I think you may not have blocks initially but then you may have a traumatic tra- pregnancy Pregnancy and childbirth or a newborn that screams constantly and then your body's like no way I don't want to do that again so it's a mental thing is what you're saying uh, y- your your subconscious absolutely controls your body so not to say that it can prevent pregnancy completely but I think if you have serious blocks or you have trauma it, it'll do what it can to prevent it so how do we go about changing our subconscious <laughs> <laughs> um well you come see someone like me or I mean, one of the things I recommend is writing down a list of everything you're afraid of happening Um, and then writing another list that kind of counteracts that, going through each belief or fear and writing a positive one. You know, um, Harvard has done an interesting uh, study recently where they took women who are having trouble conceiving and put them into two groups. One group, they helped them change their fears and their negative beliefs. Um, around getting pregnant into positive ones. And then the other one, they had a control group where they just gave them regular advice about getting pregnant. And the group that changed their beliefs, 50% of them got pregnant. The group that, the control group, only 20% got pregnant. I think it was actually 55% got pregnant. Wow. Yeah. What was the sample size of the study? Oh, just to stop. <laughs> hey, then that's the ladies. What about guys? Do you have guys? Is this something that guys can be doing in, in terms of their own minds for fertility? Um... Yeah, definitely with their own minds. Um, I think also with men, don't wear a cell phone in your pocket is a really good one because that yeah, has been proven to cause the, issues. Wow. Um, another thing that actually can boost sperm production or the quality of your sperm is um, adult films. <laughs> oh, yeah? And, yeah. And <laughs> if a... <laughs> Tell me more. Yes. Uh, if a man watches a film mm-hmm. starring two men or more with one lady, um, his sperm fertility goes up significantly. Um, but if he only watches women, it doesn't. <laughs> I think wow. I got that covered. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's really... Wow. Yeah. But it's, it's really, so specific. <laughs> It is. Yeah, wow. they call it the competition factor. Yeah. So oh, biologically, wow. like, yeah, yeah, the body goes, ooh, Makes we sense. need to, like, up our production here if we're going to have a chance. Caroline, how do you get on, um, this is a little bit of a controversial question, with the, the scientists here who, who don't believe often in what your mind does in this process, and they're all about the sperm, the egg, the embryo, the scientific process. Do you get a bit of pushback there? Um. I do. And it's interesting because I got a lot of doctors struggling with fertility <laughs> and they start to kind of argue with me and I'm like, whose office are you in? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, 
you can't deny that the mind has influence over the body. I mean, like for me, one that was fascinating was I studied medical hypnotherapy in the States. And I worked with this one doctor or trained with this one doctor who had studied a lot of people with multiple personality disorder or DID. And he had documented cases of people whose eye color would change depending on which altar was in. Or they had congestive heart failure, one personality, another maybe an insulin dependent diabetic. They could wear different glasses prescription scars Whoa. could appear and reappear so like that for me was mind blowing of the influence of the mind over the body and our capacity to heal or to block our healing is massive wow okay so if, look if you are trying for a baby there is one more thing you can try clearly and it sounds like you've got patients that come in to see you Caroline and really find this work so uh, Sam? Uh, are we right for time because there's a question I have to ask one more quick question it says um how good sex increases your chance of fertility? Yeah, well, I think that's, I mean, that's definitely a question I always ask, especially women, is how good is the sex you're having? It, when you're trying to get pregnant, uh, it becomes very clinical and kind of rushed and it's very just about the man and, you know, uh, getting the end product. And I think the female orgasm is incredibly important um, in that process. The um, cervix actually pulls the semen into the um, uterus and fallopian tubes when a woman has an orgasm, either one minute before or up to 45 minutes after. Um, wow. So my next question is, okay. how no, do you no, make no, a no, woman... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. a conversation for another day. This is yeah. so, so fascinating. Uh, if you have just joined us, Caroline Cranshaw is, and she's a clinical hypnotherapist. We're talking about fertility. We will get this whole chat up online at thehits.co.nz. And Caroline, you're going to come in every week and have a chat with us about different things. Is, is that yeah. cool? Yeah. yeah, I'd love to. Brilliant. If there's something that you would love for Caroline to talk about, feel free to hit us up on Facebook, Sarah, Sam and Tony, flick us a message and we can add it to the pile. And Caroline, just quickly, you were saying you recommend vitamins and vitamins to your clients yeah, as well. Yeah, I think they're great supplements and I think it's really important important to look at that side of things and make sure you're not deficient in anything but yeah we just don't get enough from our food yeah, so okay yeah vitamins and vitamins is an excellent product Brilliant. holistic health that's what we're after well mind done. body and soul well yeah. done sam you got it <laughs> thank you. great, great summary thank you caroline <laughs> no sarah sam and tony